And you talked about you talked about our whole body responding with a sound. Yeah. And um, and and I think you also <coughs> quoted from um, Zephaniah, the Lord your God in the midst of you is mighty. Yeah. And where it goes on to say, He will rejoice or He will sing over you in yeah. His love. And rejoice over you with song. Yeah. And and He continues to sing that song over each one of us. That each one of us truly is a song. We have. Each one of us, ha you know, has a different song. And oftentimes we forget that song, but I believe that as we come into agreement with the song of God, then we will begin to walk as the people of God that He's called us to be. So when we're broken or when we have those traumatic experiences, mm -hmm. you could say it's like we're being um, put out of tune. Exactly. And in fact, I was ministering, what really got me interested in this, I was ministering to a woman and I, she had a lot of trauma in her life, a lot of physical problems. And I just put my hand very gently on her shoulder. And I began to feel this vibration inside her. And I heard, not so much with my ears, but with my spirit, I yeah. began to hear this screeching sound, like mm -hmm. um, fingers on a, fingernails on a blackboard. And ooh, yeah. and I didn't know what it was. So I began researching uh, about vibration and sound, because I'd felt the vibration and heard the sound. And, you know, when you research something like that, you can get into some yep. information that is not godly, it is not holy, and I just had to absolutely refuse that. Mm -hmm. But really embrace the scientific studies. Yes. And so I found a 2001 Smithsonian article, and the title of it was The Sound That Cells Make. Mm -hmm. And it was interesting research, and just started following the research. And it was on um, some research that a man had done, he'd taken a, a live cell from a human heart, put it in a petri dish with nutrients, and what they noticed is that cell continued to pulsate. And so uh, another research scientist began to just think, well, if that cell continued to pulsate, it's making a vibration, and if sound is simply vibration that yep. reaches our ear, then could it be that cells make a sound? And when I heard that, I, I got really excited because of the song and, yeah. you know, we're a song of the Lord and we're making a sound. And so this man has done research and he, what he's discovered, they've developed atomic force microscopes now, but what he's discovered is that unhealthy cells make a different sound wow. than healthy cells. In fact, a cancerous cell makes like a screeching sound. And I remembered what had happened when I prayed for that woman. And so it really got my interest. It's like, oh Lord. And so I just ask the Lord to help me to understand, okay, if, if we're made up of cells, then we're making a sound. And if we're a song, what's the difference mm. between a song and a sound? And so I just looked it up in the encyclopedia, actually, and sound, uh, music or a song is sound that's put into order. And there are certain rules that's, that sound has to follow in order yeah. for it to be um, music or a song. And it's rhythm, harmony, and form. Wow. And so when sound comes into that agreement, into order, then it produces a song. Mm -hmm. And trauma is like a blow. It's like a blow to us. And, and when I prayed for this woman, I saw a tuning fork that hit, the, uh, that hit a table and it continued to vibrate yeah. long after the blow. And that's what happens when we experience some really bad things in our life, that it affects us. It's like a blow. Sometimes it's a physical blow. Sometimes it's an emotional blow, spiritual blow. Sometimes it's a combination of all three. So this would have some incredible implications in terms of healing. Oh, physical healing, for sure. And emotional yeah. and spiritual. Yeah. Because we, we're, we're making a sound that we're not created to. And those cells are vibrating at a different frequency than what they were created to. Mm. There was um, a research scientist from uh, Tennessee that came up to me and he said, let me tell you about the research that we're doing. If someone has an open wound, we take a beam of light and we put the light into that wound and we cause the damaged cells to begin to vibrate. And if we can bring the damaged cells, the vibration and the frequency up to the same frequency as the healthy cells, that wound will begin to heal itself. Wow. And I began thinking of, you know, John, the Gospel of John, and how the light, Jesus was the light, and yeah. He came into the world, He came into the darkness, but the darkness yeah. didn't understand it. They didn't comprehend it. They didn't receive it. 
And if we can invite Christ, the light of the world, into our brokenness, yeah. into our woundedness, into those, those wounds, mm. then that which is broken within us, that which is damaged within yeah. us, will begin to respond, you know, that sympathetic mm -hmm. resonance, that we will begin to respond to that song, yeah. to the light, and th that's where the healing comes yeah. from is allowing the Holy Spirit to brood over the brokenness, inviting the light of Christ into the darkness, inviting and coming into agreement with yeah. the Creator's song. Mm. It's like a guitar, you know, in yeah. sympathetic resonance. And if there's a guitar over here and it's in the same key and you're playing loudly, oftentimes the guitar over here, will, the strings will begin yeah. to, to resound yeah. with the sound. And that's the way we're created. Mm -hmm. is to when to come into agreement with creation song and that everything within us would yeah. respond to that sure. and come up into that which that's God great. created us to and I believe that's where the creative miracles are yeah. and that's where the the true healing is and the restoration yeah. and the 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 coming into order trauma breaks all the rules it's yeah. not supposed to be this way it's unfair it's not right and our heart gets stuck in the pain and stuck in the past and the Lord so desires to heal mm -hmm. us and to bring us out into that place where we will live our life as a song. Yeah.